Basically, we just like did a circle. <laughs> but hey, opening that door, 100% run achieved, huh? Mm -hmm. If we wouldn't have opened that door, that's a 99.8% run. You know what I mean? She. You know what I mean. Captain Bubber! In Denmark, we have five weeks of paid holiday, and I would love to spend it all watching Co. with the $15 tip. Thank you, man. Oh, I just realized. Look in the top right. It's a loading room. That's all it is. It's a loading room. Okay. Cool. Yes, this is happening in the stem again. There was another door, we can't open that one. There is another door down there, but there's no panel for it. Mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Dr. says, we told you that. Oh, did you guys? I, I probably missed it. No surprise. Shit! Shit! Nope. Oh wow, that killed him. I have this magical ability to miss consistently with a shotgun. I don't understand how I do it. I think it's just some kind of amazing trait or skill that I've picked up throughout my life. But it's really just impressive how often I can miss with a weapon that fires a thousand little pellets. Um, really, like, it, it... It's like I have reverse aim skills or something. I don't even understand it. All right. Let's take a look at our map. What is that? A repair bench? Yeah, workbench. All right, let's go up this left side. Work towards a rogue signal. Uh, where is the the? Okay, there's the big one. Oh, another safe house. Oh shit. Yeah, let's work up this left side. I thought he said northeast part of town. That's definitely northwest, but whatever. Uh, yep, we're gonna cut across and work up. The trait is called Dingus. Oh, that's a good point. I like that. I'm a real life stormtrooper. Yup. Pretty much. For the record. That's a $550 tip from Silphy TV. $550 tip. Good God, dude. Good God. Sir, if you guys are not giving him good vibes and epic loots, please do. Silphy TV, thank you so much, man. That I, If that's not a new level for your badge, I would be surprised. Um, insane amount of support, dude. Thank you so much. That's that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no other words for it. Thank you, man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Appreciate you letting me play stuff like this for you every single day, dude. Very much appreciate it. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing, to be honest. I swear to God if they put a statue in one of these trees. Did they? Are you guys really that rude? Did it happen? I don't think it happened. Okay, good. Especially because the trees are like a little bit the same color. That would have been even worse. Will you stop it? God. Dumb graphic artifacts. Um, yeah, pretty insane. Pretty insane. Yep, one, one bit, one cheer equals one cent. But it's important to Twitch that they are not tips or anything like that. It is, it is, a, it is a custom currency on Twitch. But the conversion is one cheer equals one cent, essentially. But yeah. I think he meant five dollars and fifty cents. Oh, I, I hope Sophie didn't mean that. That would be unfortunate. Okay, I don't think we can go in this building. But we have not been past this building. Everything past here is new. Alright, time to focus up a little bit. Oh. 
Let's grab that first. Oh, this is the handgun ammo guy, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, great. Quick look in here before we continue. For the record, a horn is not music. Can we just please establish this early? Why would you put a little freaking music sign there? The bar staff. Please, one of you walk all the way over here. Please. Please. I want to try my cool new... Punch your face around the corner. Just kidding. Okay. Oh, no. The other girl turned around. Wait, is that... Is that fuel? Nope, it's not. Oh god, mistakes. Yeah, treble clef baited, that's right. I can't murderize people out of bushes, can I? Only around corners, right? Yeah, we gotta get this second speed upgrade, man. I feel like stealth speed is gonna be the thing in this game. Now that barrel, on the other hand. <clears throat> Fatality. Okay. Wait, we didn't get both of them, did we? Did we just get both of them with that? Oh, shit. Nope, wait. Nope, there's one of them. I think the other guy's... around here somewhere. Oh shit, he knows where I am. That one knows where I am. Oh, my kingdom for a Molotov, right? They both have axes? Whoa. Well, that was unfortunate, but that's okay. So uh, I thought that if we just kept left clicking the axe that we would just keep swinging it. Uh, it turns out that is not the case. Um, you swing once and then there's like a recovery. So we'll have to keep that in mind moving forward. $50 from Mini Bomb. what is going on today? As Twitch apparently won't let me watch ads for bits, I will just thank you this way. Thanks for being the best guy ever really from Mini Bomb 202 with a $50 tip. Man, I don't know what's in the water today, but seriously, guys, really appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you. That's kind of insane. Kind of really insane. And thank you to Minibomb202. Hey, Kodiak Jack! What's up, dude? 
Good to see you, man. Kodiak Jack was one of the people I played EQ with for months recently. He was a big member in our guild. One of the class leads, actually. Speaking of which, Kodiak Jack, I cannot wait for the next MMO, dude. EverQuest was like, it wet my appetite, but I'm ready to dive in to like the next game. Oh my lord, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Did I up the FOV? I did. We're currently on like 90 FOV, I think. Funny enough, and I and I was actually meant to see this. I kind of want to see this. This is what it started on. Oh my god, dude. No. Just... Just no. That's terrible. Now here's where we are. Literally twice the FOV. Yeah, dude. That's, that's not even... That's not even comparable, in my opinion. Uh, are you dead, dead? I feel like this is gonna make a lot of noise. Shit. Gotta restore power to these doors. Maybe that wire leads to a power source or something. Hmm. Okay. Q, Q. Super Q. There's a lot of something over here. Hmm. Oh, there's one. Okay, good. Hey, great. Some more ammo. Okay. We use the axe, right? Oh no, we still got one. Oh shit. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, I thought we were rocking out. Okay, that's fine too. I'm gonna see if I can get behind this guy. Nope, I didn't distract him. So we have now found the mask from Dishonored and one of the robo dogs from Wolfenstein. <laughs> cool. So much for stealth. Oh, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. And we, we only used a bottle. Even better. All right, let's sneak down this side. Yes, we are inside a machine, Mini Bomb. We're inside a machine called the STEM system. And the way that the STEM system works is there's a host or a conduit, they call it the core. And that is a person. And the core is in the center of the machine and then all of the other people connect into their brain via the stem system uh, to theoretically be able to then like interact with each other and kind of progress humanity on a large scale. The issue is that every time they use this system, the core becomes corrupted. So in the first game, they used a corrupted core. They used that crazy guy. The complete batshit insane dude. They made him the core. So obviously the whole world was screwed. But in this game, they used Sebastian's daughter as the core. And she was a pure sample. Unfortunately, a week ago, um, a week ago in game, she started going insane. And they don't know why. So they found Sebastian and convinced us, Sebastian, to go into the world that our daughter oversees as the core, and now we're trying to rescue her. I know, right? I know. I feel the same way. Um, but it's awesome. So that's where we are right now. Man, I'm telling you my kingdom for a Molotov. 
Because there is no way I'm just letting these dudes munch on that guy. Okay, we might be able to kill one of them. Let's see. Oh, watch this. Ready? Check this out. Here we go. Get one of them. And then ask the other one a question. Boom! Woo! Alright. Oh, we got another axe. Perfect. That worked out swimmingly. Okay. Cool. Hopefully that did yes. the trick. The things we don't know so far is this is years after our daughter was killed in the fire that killed her and her nanny. This is years later. So apparently it they've had success with Sebastian's daughter. Like, they had a long period where everything was fine. Um, and then only recently has she started going batshit crazy. And, and the world's been falling apart at the seams. That's what we're trying to figure out. We don't know why she all of a sudden started going crazy. Something must have been injected into the system to cause it. And the people that run the system have no idea what it is. They actually sent in five guys, and that's enough, that's like a sub-objective in this game, is we're trying to find the, sur the survivors. We, we already know one of them's dead. We've saved the other one. Oh, shit. And then there's some others as well. Hold on. Uh, what? How old was the daughter when she was taken from the house? Like between ages six and nine, it looked like. She was young, young. Unfortunately, we have seen a monster that I am convinced may be Sebastian's daughter. And she is a giant, saw blade wielding, flesh beast um, that tried to kill us at the beginning of the, what the shit? At the beginning of the game. And, um, yeah, it is not a pleasant situation. Nope. Not a pleasant situation. What is going on in here? Um, let's get that. By the way, if you have watched other streams, I know some streamers have already beat the game. A lot of the stuff I'm saying right now is conjecture. Please don't feel the need to say, Oh, no, that girl is actually... You know, don't feel the need to do that. It's okay. We're all, we're, we're playing through it together. I'm a little bit behind because I opted out of doing the uh, the the six hour preview because I wanted to do it all or the six chapter preview because I wanted to do it all in a row. So I'm a little bit behind other streamers right now. Did, really? No? I really would have thought that worked. Maybe there's a door over here we can use. Hmm. Um. There must be something else in here. Now, you know what? I'm a, I'm a little bit worried right now that this may be bugging because... Because I have an axe. <laughs> Because I'm pr I mean, there's a giant spotlight on that board. I'm pretty sure I can... Mm. Oh, 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 thank you. Okay, thank you. No, no, that's, that's the kind of spoiler that's okay, chat. Someone in chat just said, there's story stuff in there. You can't destroy that board. That's fine. You didn't tell me what the story spoiler was. You didn't tell me what's in the room. You just were like, don't waste your time, Co. There's nothing in there. Thank you, chat. We'll come back later. Um, let's keep poking around here. Did we? Oh, oh, sorry, dude. Did we check all these? I know we checked that one. I definitely checked this one. I know we checked the one at the beginning. Okay, good. So we got all the trucks. Let's make sure we check this back corner. We can move this to get over that, but we don't need to right now. Um, Nice. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, we're good. All right, so uh, plan now. Let's see if we can go into the garage. I don't think we can yet, but we'll try. And then we're going to go up this left side and get the shotgun shells and check out the rogue signal. This is all new area, so we're probably going to want to take it a little bit slow, he says as he sprints forward. Alright, let's check out this little back area. We already went in most of the trains, but we'll need to do another run through here in a bit. We're not going to do the train stuff right now, though. We'll come back. Got a chain over here. No enemies. Great. Mitchell and Sons Construction. Okay. Shit. How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is over? Okay. Did I 100% Inquisition? Dragon Age Inquisition? Mm hmm. Sure did. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Is that supposed to be growing out of her? Are you dead? You are so not dead. Phony. Give me your life juice. This is a creature we do not know a lot about yet. Oh god, I think she sees me. I don't know her moves, I don't know what she does. All we know is she kills a lot of people and she's cold. That's it. Do I have to like turn the car alarm off? Seems like the car alarm is what started this. Can I get in here? Oh, I can't get in here. Oh, shit. Maybe I just have to run away from her? Can I push this? Brave, brave Sir Co. Bravely ran away. Oh, there we go. Ah, great, okay. Hmm. When the truck comes a rockin', don't come a knockin'. I don't think this is gonna end how I hope it will, but we gotta check. Nope! 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 No, Jesus! Nope! Nope!
Great. That's all three. All right, we got one more down here to deal with. Am I going to play AC Origins? I definitely am. Yep. On the 27th, we'll be playing Wolfenstein, or earlier, if we get it then. And um, as soon as we're done with Wolfenstein, and it's probably going to be a pretty thorough playthrough for Wolfenstein, we'll probably do all the side content we can, then um, we're going to do Assassin's Creed Origin. Yep. And then when Assassin's Creed Origin is complete, uh, if we have any 100% left done with Evil Within 2, we'll do that. Oh! <gasps> Was that? Oh, it's just weapon parts. And then uh, after Evil Within 2, we'll probably finish up the 100% of Shadow of War. Well, look at this little guy. What are you doing? You got a little tiny Tyrannosaurus Rex on your face today. Do you know, or on your chest, do you know that? It's because they're heavy Do you know that? It's not on his face. For those that haven't met him, by the way, this is my son, Rowan, in his green screen outfit. Hi, big guy. How are you? You having fun? Yeah? I can't really play this game when you're in the room because this one's bad. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Whoa, what's going on? Green screen. Yeah. It makes his dinosaur stand out. It does make his dinosaur stand out. Yeah, you happy little baby? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? He's looking at the intro right now. He's looking at the intro movie like, what is all that? <laughs> Here you go, baby. Oh, oh you oh, almost Oh, don't grab the mic. No. Oh, God. He today. almost got the mic. Almost. You almost got it. Gotta be careful, man. Yeah, sure, Raven. He's gotten pretty big, dude. How how big is he? He's almost eight months. He's get, going on eight months. Yep. Getting bigger. He's a big old guy. All right. Uh, let's keep going. Thanks, baby. Mm. Oh, is there any more coffee left? There's the coffee that I made at, you know, 6.45. You know what? I have mochas. We're good. Never mind. Thank and you. Sitting on the top for six hours. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Thanks, though. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Okay, Ko, uh, do you always get a full overlay made up for every game you play? Pretty much, all the big ones. Thanks to the phenomenal Tech Team 6, who helps me uh, run the channel. Mm -hmm. We have amazing overlays that are pretty much unique to every major game we play these days. Thanks to Barry Collin, Tri Wars, some sound help from Prop Danny, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, here we go. What? No loot? That's like the first one we've killed that hasn't dropped loot. Okay. There better be something good back here for there to be four zombies. What is it? Oh, that's good. What are you? First aid kit. Wait, full? What do you mean full on first aid kit? I don't have a first aid kit, do I? Do I have a first aid kit? I do have a first aid kit. What's this? Oh, huh. it's a full heal. Good to know. We'll keep that in mind. Am I going to play Super Mario Odyssey? Um, I might eventually, but to be honest, I don't know when. Hey, these got... There were totally two boxes there. Interesting. Maybe that was when we uh, went back with that crazy woman, though. But yeah, I might check out Super Mario Odyssey at some point, but I don't... It's not on the short list right now. Nails. Oh, this is where the thing is. Okay. This is where the resonant single, uh, signal is. Cool, cool, cool. Great. That's another free harpoon. We'll take it. All right, here we go, guys. If every cache is overrun with those things. How am I supposed to get supplies if every cache is overrun with those things? I should do it. You're not getting out of there, shit heels. James, it's Ryan. Come in. I locked a bunch of those things in the room underneath the auto body shop. I'm heading to the visitor center now. James, do you copy? Shit. There's a supply cache under here? I gotta get down there. A new signal. James, where the fuck are you? Get your ass to the visitor center. You're never gonna believe. Visitor center it is. Shit. Okay. Um... 
four, two, six. Watch this one and this one. There's another one? Oh, there is, like right here in the corner. Oh, it's probably under. It's probably under us. Okay. Uh, real quick before we do this, mods, you know what to do? I'm going to take a quick bio, guys. I'll be right back. And we're going to figure out what the hell to do here. <laughs> back in just one second, guys. I'm going to grab a coffee and use the bathroom real quick. Thanks for sitting tight, guys. Where is... Ah, there it is. Oh, 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 you know what, guys? Actually, there's something on the stairs real quick. Uh, I need something for the stream later. Hold on, this is stream related. Stream related. Sorry, this is, an, uh, this is an essential component to the stream later this afternoon. <clears throat> Into the fridge you go. Okay. We good. These guys kind of suck because you can't stealth kill them. Dudes. Rude dudes. <laughs> <laughs> 